Anything that's really data driven and has users interacting with each other where they need to create an account and log in um, and maybe provide some data, update statuses, um, be able to search through data in some way. That's a very, very common type of functionality uh, for bubble apps. So marketplaces are huge. So connecting users with each other, being able to um, put up listings, uh, book services with each other, purchase things from each other. You can absolutely do that. You can also integrate with the payment gateway so that users can pay each other. You can take a fee out of that. Lots of ways to uh, construct a marketplace. Social networks, also very popular. So chat functionality between users, being able to have uh, activity feeds, notifications, comment threads, uh, sharing pictures with each other, normal social network type of stuff. Uh, dashboards are very popular with business related applications so that they can gather insights about uh, their data. They can aggregate on things. They can visualize it in charts um, and be able to search and keep track of it. Just have an overview picture of their business. Um, CRMs and ERPs, other very common types of uh, needs, functionality that businesses need in order to run properly. So being able to manage all of their customers um, or have some kind of an internal custom flow that takes in all of the aspects of their business in a really streamlined and automated way. Scheduling, very popular type of functionality that can be done a number of ways. Um, there's also a lot of plugins that can help uh, with certain aspects of calendars and managing dates, um, but you can do all sorts of things uh, when it comes to creating uh, scheduling functionality for appointments, for booking reservations, um, you know, blocking out dates, creating availability, custom time slots, all that sort of thing. Uh, to, to do scheduling type of features. Tracking is a, t a common type of functionality that you'll find in a lot of different types of apps. So project management um, or internal um, operations to keep track of different statuses or even with personal use cases if somebody wants to track their fitness activity or the meals that they eat every day. E-commerce, big topic, lots you can do there. So um, you can absolutely do shopping carts and checkout flows. Integrating with payment gateways happens through APIs and sometimes there are plugins available for it as well so that you can take payments and that can be any kind of payment. It can be one-time payments, subscription payments, um, split payments. It can go to multiple people. Just depends on the type of payment gateway that you're integrating with. So PayPal, Stripe, there's a lot of other ones out there. Um, yeah, lots you can do with e-commerce. Dynamic forms, kind of the heart of most applications is being able to collect information from your users. And the way that the forms are presented is completely up to you, how you're designing it, the, the logic behind it. If it, it can be a questionnaire, a survey, or it can just be a more simple form. It can be multi-step, lots of different ways to approach forms. And of course, calculators. Um, we've actually seen a lot of financial-based applications come through. Uh, and uh, build out custom calculators where they would have otherwise been using spreadsheets, but gets very cumbersome in a spreadsheet. So a custom application can really um, make things uh, work more efficiently or just be more convenient for anyone that needs to work with uh, those functions.